Well, I just got back from the ER. I uh, been having pains like here and across in my between my shoulder blades and across the back of my neck and stuff. And with women, it can be a symptom of a heart attack because women get their symptoms different than men. So my kids and friends and everybody nagged me to call the ER. So I no, not the ER, the 911 ambulance. So I did, and um, with Medicare, you, they pay for it, so. Well, I have a supplemental military and the supplemental, but I went in and they did a CAT scan and blood tests and yada, 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 and it says probably just muscle spasms, but it hurts so bad, like right here, across the middle of my back and across the back of my neck. I can hardly lift this, this arm, my right arm. And I can't take a deep breath or it hurts. And they didn't give me anything. They said, take Tylenol and they gave me a muscle relaxant. But part of that's because I take blood thinner and you can't take a bunch of different drugs if you take blood thinner. And the doctor's like, why are you still on Coumadin? Why don't you, why aren't you on Eliquis? And I'm like, I don't know. That's my doctor it hasn't changed me because Coumadin, you, it's very reactive to other drugs and to foods and things. And so there's a lot of stuff you can't eat or do, you know, with medicines you can't take. So I'm going to ask my um, cardiologist how come I am have to still take Coumadin. Is there a reason or I don't know. But I can't breathe very well because it hurts so bad to take a deep breath. So I'm breathing real shallow. And getting in and out of bed's like a nightmare because it hurts so much to move that much to turn over and sit up and, you know, or like taking clothes on and off because you have to raise your arm to get your clothes off. <laughs> it's not working real well either. So I don't know when you'll see another video from me. Hopefully I'll do a, a um, Frugal Friday one. I mean, I've got the ideas all written out. I just need to film it, but I canceled everything I was doing this week. I didn't go to my Bible study. I didn't go to my BSF. Tomorrow night I have another Bible study, but I haven't done any of the work because I felt so bad. So I don't know if I'll go to that because I haven't done any of the work. Maybe if I feel a little better tomorrow, I'll work on it. But it's tomorrow night, and it's like seven days worth of Bible study, so I doubt if I'd get it all done. <sighs> anyway, um, that's it. Just thought I'd check in and tell you what's going on. I went, this was my pajama shirt, and I went to the hospital wearing it because it just looks like a regular black shirt with a pocket. And then I just put some leggings on and some shoes without socks because that's as I wanted to do as little move me, moving as possible and I'm kind of disappointed they didn't give me something to, for the pain but they didn't so it is what it is I guess because I've got tramadol that my in my you know person what are they pp personal physician whatever my my internist but that doesn't do much of nothing either. And Tylenol doesn't seem to work very well. They gave me some like IV Tylenol and that worked pretty good in the hospital. I felt okay. But if you take Tylenol, it goes through your liver and the liver filters half of it out so you don't get as much of a dose, you know, as when you get it in the IV. So anyway, I'm pretty miserable. So I don't know how many, uh, videos you'll get out of me till I get better. It just hurts so bad. And I've got a pretty high pain threshold, but this is ugh. like they do scale of one to 10. If I just don't move at all, it's about a six. And if I move at all, it shoots up to an eight or a nine. It's bad. Alrighty. Well, love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.